Now we're going to be moving into how to go up and down the slopes. So I'm going to come over to this little ramp area over here, and I see this all the time. Going up a slope, it is very fine and okay with me, and you should drive straight up it. We do not want to be reversing up this big slope. One, we're using our rear view mirrors, backup camera as well if we are so blessed to have it. Our viewing area is, let's say 5% it is going forward, as well as if we were to back up a ramp with a full bucket or material in our bucket, the angle of the approach is going to tend, if it's steep enough, is going to tend to spill this material out of the bucket. So I'm gonna do this a couple times to make a couple points. So we drove straight up the hill with material in the bucket. Reversing down the hill, this is the reason I'm gonna do this a couple times. There's a couple points we need to make. As I'm reversing down my hill, I'm using my, my side mirrors as well as my backup camera. This one does not have a backup camera. So I'm going straight down the path that I went before. I am not turning, I'm not moving side to side. And the, the other point I'm going to make is I have first gear only chosen. And that's why I'm gonna go back up this hill to show you exactly what not to do. So we're gonna climb the hill again, one more time. Facing forward going up, facing up the hill as well, the same way, reversing down the hill. We do not wanna drive down this hill. One, again, the material could spill out of the bucket, but we do not want to be coming down this hill with the bucket, the, the blade, the cutting edge, the teeth towards somebody. So the next point we're gonna make is why I left that machine in first gear. Um, these machines do not have an engine brake. Uh, the off-road trucks have an engine brake. Your semi truck, your dump trucks, they have engine brakes. Some people call them Jake brakes. If you've heard a semi going down the road and it's kind of gargling, What's happening is, is the, there's a mechanism in the exhaust that is closing the exhaust and retarding the pressure from the motor to then slow down all the functions of the machine, the truck, what's going on. It's slowing it down using the motor. This machine does not have this. One thing we can do to ensure that we go down this in reverse or up this and forward very slow and very accurately is leaving it in first gear. If we were to pick second gear, and I'm gonna do this on purpose, and back off of this hill, and I'm gonna tell you when I stop adding throttle here in just a moment. No throttle, no steering, no brakes. Watch how fast I gain speed coming down this hill. I just went to 16.9 miles an hour by just releasing everything. And this happens a lot when people panic. And people panic when they're backing down things they can't see what's going on or what's coming to them, as well as the edges of this. Very important. Problem. If for any reason I was coming up this ramp with a wheel loader with a full bucket or an empty bucket, and I get within, let's call it three feet or four feet of the edge of this pile, if I have not rolled or compacted or wheel rolled this pile, to an absolute oblivion, it's going to sink and send me right off the side of this pile. So we wanna center ourselves up this ramp. We also wanna use, we don't have that Jake brake feature, but what we do have is leaving it in first gear is going to not let those uh, RPMs come way up for us. It's gonna slow us down going down the hill. The other thing I'd like to point out is by using this first gear, I do not have to drag the brakes all the way down this pile. And I'm gonna do that on purpose to, just to show you how much the brakes don't help. So I'm gonna go fast, and I slammed on the brakes. I probably went five feet after I slid the brakes on, or applied the brakes. Obviously we have a seriously heavy machine, as well as the load we have in this machine, so we don't wanna to have to rely on slamming on brake pedals or doing emergency stops on our way down. So that nice controlled, Approach is how I would like you to do this. One more time. Coming down the hill, you can see I'm floored in first gear. I'm adding every bit of steam this machine has to it, and it's not going to speed up more than 5.6 miles an hour. Because I'm using the engine's um, limit, if you will, 
to, I, I've got full RPM, and the gear range that I have chosen is going to allow me to slowly and methodically back down this slope. Most people, like I talked about, they panic. Panicking is letting off the gas pedal. If you let off the gas pedal and you're backing down this hill, like you saw, I went from five miles an hour to 16.9 miles an hour. Let's call it 17 miles an hour. That is death speed. That is enough to where if you turn the wrong way coming down this hill, if you get near the edge, if anything is going on to where you have to turn the machine in any way, this machine is going to flip over. We want to keep it in a nice straight line. 